हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू दिस इज प्रतीक श्रीवास्तवा हियर एंड आवर टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज टी सी एस एन क्यू टी प्रीवियस ईयर प्लेसमेंट प्रेफर फॉर टी सी एस एन क्यू टी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी एग्जाम सो प्लीज वॉच आउट द कम्प्लीट वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम्स इन एग्जाम एंड हाउ डू वी यूज द शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स एंड सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इन लेस अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज ए क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस ए काउ एंड हॉर्स आर बॉट फॉर रुपीज टू लैक्स The cow is sold at a profit of 20 percent, and the horse is sold at a loss of 10 percent. The overall gain is rupees 4,000. Find the cost price of cow. So this question, if you are going to solve by normal method, then it will take more than two to three minutes, right? Okay. So I am going to solve this question by elegation rule, which will take less than 30 seconds, right? Okay. But when I will solve, it will take more than two three minutes because I am going to tell you the. concept of profit and loss and elegation rule okay so let's see the basic concept of profit and loss so the terms used in profit and loss is cost price the price at which we buy a product so suppose you are buying a pen in 10 rupees so that becomes cost price and suppose if you sell the pen in 12 rupees so your selling price becomes 12 rupees now here you can see there is a profit of how much rupees so there is a profit of 12 minus 10 is equals to 2 rupees right okay so this becomes the profit right profit is 2 rupees now they may ask you to calculate percentage of profit so percentage of profit will be profit divided by cost price into 100 they may also ask you to calculate percentage of loss see in this case profit is there so we can cal calculate percentage of profit but they may ask you to calculate percentage of loss also so percentage of loss will be loss divided by cost price into 100 see always you have to calculate percentage of profit or percentage of loss at cost price because if you know cost price if you know cost price then only you can sell the product and then only you can find profit or loss if you don't know the cost price we cannot find profit we cannot find loss right okay so these are the two formulas which we have to keep in mind now what is the elegation rule that we will understand so here i am going to teach you elegation rule with respect to percentage right okay so see there are two percentages given one when cow is sold at a profit of 20% so you write down here so 20% profit if any kind of profit is there then we have to use plus sign and if any kind of loss is there if any kind of loss is there then you have to use minus sign right okay so the cow is sold at a profit of 20% so here i have written plus 20% and the horse is sold at a loss of 10% so horse is sold at a loss of 10% so minus 10% right okay so this is the cow sold at 20% profit and this is horse sold at 10% loss right okay and then in between we write the overall gain or loss in terms of percentage right so you can see here the overall gain is 4000 is given in terms of rupees but we have to find out the overall gain in terms of percentage so see the profit is given profit is nothing but gain so the gain is given how much 4000 rupees right okay and now the cost price we can see the cost price is nothing but 2 lakhs right okay so i can calculate the percentage of profit or the percentage of gain is nothing but profit 4000 divided by cost price cost price is 2 lakhs into 100 right okay now you can see 3030 cancel 2020 cancel this will be 2% so this will be nothing but 2% right okay now here we will get the ratio so 20 minus 2 will be what 18 if you will subtract 20 minus 2 then it will be 18 right see one way we have to subtract like this and the other way this side we have to subtract 2 minus minus 10 so 2 minus minus will become plus so this will be 12 so the ratio will become 12 is to 18 now what is this ratio see the ratio is the ratio in which the cow and the horse has been bought right okay see the 2 lakhs rupees that it was the total amount in which cow and horse was bought but this will give you the ratio the price ratio in which the cow and horse has been bought right okay so 12 is to 18 i can also write see 6 twos are and 6 threes are right okay so the ratio you see 2 and this ratio you see 3 right okay now what was the total cost price the total cost price was 2 lakhs right okay now they are asking the cost price of cow so the cost price of cow in front of cow what is it 2 divided by total 2 plus 3 will be what 2 plus 3 will be 5 so this will be 2 lakhs into 2 divided by 5 now 5 this is 40 times 
so 4 into 2 will be 8 and 4 zeros so this will be 80,000 so the price of the cow the cost price of the cow was 80,000 and the cost price of the horse will be what 1 lakhs 20,000 total was 2 lakhs so if you will subtract then it will be horse it will be 1 lakhs 20,000 and for the cow it will be 80,000 right so allegation rule what we did we wrote the first percentage on the left side second percentage on the right side and then we calculated the overall gain then the, we calculated the overall gain right okay and then we subtracted 20 minus 2 is 18 and 2 minus minus 10 is equals to 12 so this is a ratio in which cow and horse is bought and from here we got the cost price of the cow so option b is the correct answer for this question right let's move to the question number two question number two is in a city 100 percent votes are registered so total 100 percent votes are registered right okay so here i will assume the total number of votes let's total number of votes is equal to what 100 right okay now you see in which 60 percent vote for congress so out of 100 percent the 60 percent vote went to congress and 40 percent vote for bjp and 40 percent vote went to bjp right okay so if you we'll calculate 60 percent of 100 it will be 60 only and if you we'll calculate 40 percent of the 100 then it will be 40 only see here i have assumed 100 and then i am solving even you can assume the total number of votes is equal to x and then also you can solve but your questions will become complicated if you will take x and solve right okay now you see the bjp will get 40 percent vote and 40 percent means 40 and the congress is getting 60 percent vote means 60 right okay now there is a person a so there is a person a who gets 75 percent of the congress votes see the congress is getting total 60 votes. see suppose there are many states are there in that total votes is 60 but a person a candidate a is there who gets 75 percent of the congress votes so if you calculate the 75 percent of the congress votes then 25 3 ja 25 4 ja 4 this will be 15 ja so 15 into 3 45 votes so a will get 45 votes from congress a will get 45 votes from congress and 8 percent of the bjp votes so total number of bjp votes is 40 so a is getting 8 percent of the bjp votes so 8 by 100 into 40 if you we'll calculate 1010 gone so 32 divided by 10 so it will be 3.2 votes so 3.2 votes will be approximated to 3 votes because there is nothing like 3.2 votes right okay so see a is getting 75 percent of the congress votes so total congress votes is 60 so 75 percent to be calculated means 60 uh, 45 right okay and is getting 8 percent of the bjp votes so 8 percent of 40 we calculated because bjp is getting 40 votes so it is getting 3.2 votes so a is getting total 45 plus 3 that means a is getting total 48 votes right okay now total votes is 100 total number of votes we have assumed 100 and a is getting what 48 votes so 48 votes is nothing but 48 percentage votes a is getting so option c will be the correct answer so this is a very simple question if you want we can solve within 30 seconds let's see how do we solve this see in a city 100 percent vote is there so total vote is 100 right 60 percent vote is for congress that means 60 vote congress and 40 votes is for bjp so 40 votes is bjp getting right there is a person a who gets 75 percent so 75 percent of from congress and 8 percent from bjp now you see this will be 3 by 4 so this will be 15 this will be 45 plus 3.2 which is nothing but 48 48 means nothing but 48 percent so this is one of the simple question from percentage right let's move to the question number three question number three is a very important question and this question has been taken from the ss topic right okay so in 10 years a will be twice as old as b was 10 years ago a is now nine years older than b so a is what nine years older than b so i can also say the difference between a and b age is nine years find out the present age of b and a respectively right okay so after writing this you can just check the option you might be able to answer the question by this only right so first option you see this is the age of b and this is the age of a right okay so what is the difference between the age eight years no so you want the age difference is nine years then you check the second option eight minus nine is nine yes so this option is giving you difference as nine so this might be your answer now let's see question number three 
question now let's see option number c so the difference is 10 no the difference between the edges should be 9 and now again you see here the difference is 6 years but the difference we want is 9 years so option b is the correct answer for this question so for this question you don't even need 10 seconds to check the option right okay so now let's see what is a normal method so this was the trick which you can apply for the problems on edges questions right okay now what is the normal method that we will see in 10 years a will be twice as old as b was 10 years ago a is now 9 years older than b find out the present age of b and a suppose the present age of b is what b years right see why i am taking a and b so that the confusion will be less if you will take a and b if you will take x and y then the confusion will be more right okay now what is the present age of a so the present age of a is b plus 9 see a is 9 years older than b so whatever age of b is there if you'll add 9 then it will become the age of a right okay now there is one more statement is given in 10 years a will be so suppose the present age of a is b plus 9 today so after 10 years what will be the age of a so after 10 years after 10 years a will become b plus 9 see the present age of a is b plus 9 so after 10 years a will become b plus 9 plus 10 10 will get added see suppose your age is today 20 years so after 10 years what will be your age 20 plus 10 that is 30 years right so same thing here so after 10 years a will be twice as old as b was 10 years ago so what is the b present age b present age is b years so b age b age 10 years ago see today b age is b so 10 years ago b age will be what b minus 10 years so it is very simple if your today's age is 20 years then 10 years back what was your age 20 minus 10 that means 10 years old you were 10 years old same thing here now what has been told in 10 years so in 10 years a will be so in 10 years a will be so a is nothing but b plus 9 plus 10 a will be twice twice means multiple multiple of two twice as old as b was 10 years ago so b was 10 years ago b minus 10 now solve this so b plus 19 will be equal to 2b minus 20 so b will be equal to 19 plus 20 which is nothing but 39 years right okay now what will be the age of 9 so a will be b plus 9 so 39 plus 9 will be equal to 48 years right okay and this is the same thing whatever we have got using the short tricks right so by this line only we are able to answer that but if you are using normal method then it will take at least one to two minutes right okay i hope you understood the question number three let's move to question number four question number four is again one of the very important question this kind of questions will generally ask you in your exam let's see how do we solve this kind of questions using the short tricks sum of two numbers is 50. see suppose your two numbers are suppose two numbers are x and y so sum of two numbers are 50 right okay and sum of their reciprocal so the reciprocal means 1 by x plus 1 by y is nothing but 1 by 12 right okay so find these two numbers now see you have two equations if you want to solve and get the answer then it will take minimum of three to four minutes minimum of 3 to 4 minutes because you have two equations again you will solve this will be x y again this will be x plus y is equals to 1 by 12 from here you will get the value of x y and then you will proceed it will consume 3 to 4 minutes see, in this 3 to 4 minutes you will be able to solve 2 to 3 question so let's see what is the trick what is the short tricks we are going to apply here right okay the sum of two numbers is 50 so let's take the option option a this is also called option attack this is also called option attack right okay so the option a 14 plus 36 so 14 plus 36 will be what see sum of two numbers is 50 yes so 14 plus 36 will be 50 right okay now the reciprocal the reciprocal should be equal to what 1 by 12 so if you will simplify if you will take the lcm of 14 and 36 then you can directly multiply and write then this will be 36 plus 14 so this will be 50 and divided by 14 into 36 now 225 218 times so it will never give you 1 by 12 so option a is wrong 
now let's see option b so 20 plus 30 will give you 50 and 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30 right if you'll take lcm 60 so this will be 3 plus 2 5 by 60 that means 1 by 12 yes the reciprocal of the numbers are the sum of the reciprocals of their number is 1 by 12 right and we are getting that from the option b so option b will be the correct answer for this question option c if you'll see the sum is 110 and option d is none of these so option b will be the correct answer for question number four so using the salt tricks you will be able to solve within 10 seconds right let's move to the question number five question number five is a very important question from mensuration right okay now the diagonal of a square is twice the side of a equilateral triangle then the ratio of area of triangle to the area of a square see basically what you have to find out is area of triangle and area of a square this ratio you have to find it out right okay so let's see what is the area of a square and area of equilateral triangle so for a square this will be the sides right so all four sides will be equal for squares right okay and now if you draw a line like this that becomes the diagonal so area of a square area of a square will be a square right okay now if you want to write in terms of diagonal then 1 by 2 into diagonal square will be the area of a square if you'll talk about the equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means all the three sides will be equal so suppose this is a a a then the area will be root 3 by 4 a square right okay now we know the equilateral triangle area and we know the square area right okay now something has been told in the question some information has been given that we will um, write down here the diagonal of a square is twice the side of a equilateral triangle so let equilateral triangle side is let equilateral triangle side is equals to a so the diagonal of a square so the diagonal of a square will be equal to twice the side of a equilateral triangle right okay now you have been asked area of triangle to the area of a square right so area of equilateral triangle will be root 3 by 4 a square and the area of a square in terms of diagonal will be 1 by 2 into d square now root 3 by 4 a square if you see the diagonal then diagonal is nothing but 2a so this will be 2a whole square right okay now root 3 by 4 a square is to 1 by 2 into 4 a square now see a square a square cancel and 2 will divide this by 2 times so here what we have root 3 by 4 is to 2 now what we will do 4 we will multiply on both the sides so root 3 by 4 into 4 is to 2 into 4 now 4 4 cancel so root 3 is to 8 so root 3 is to 8 will be the ratio of the area of triangle to the area of a square and option b will be the correct answer for this question so this question has been already asked in tcs nqt exams if you really like the video then please comment in the comment box so that i will be making more and more videos on the tcs previous year question thanks a lot for watching the video